All right, so in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a research from scratch, so I haven't done any pre-research. I'm gonna be using a supplier, and I'm gonna research from and actually go through the listing process as well, creating a listing from scratch on my Amazon UK. Now, I'm a newbie to Amazon UK. I actually live in Canada, so don't mind when I go over to Google and see the US dollar value over to pounds. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. So if you're not from the UK but you want to sell on Amazon UK, you can. If you're from UK and you want to sell Amazon Canada or Amazon US or Germany or any other Amazon platforms, you're allowed to. Right? You can sell multi-platforms. Um, if you're in North America, you can actually do the multi-cross-platform um, account, which is a unified account where you pay one monthly fee and you can sell on Canada, US, and Mexico all at the same time. Um, so let's get straight to it. So I'm at Source Universe. Um, they ship to they ship worldwide, but they ship to Canada, U.S., U.K., and I think a couple other countries pretty fast. Um, so if we, I'm in my shipping settings right here. I just want to show you the only thing it's letting me do as a new Amazon U.K. seller or relatively new is standard shipping 14 to 21 days, right? So these uh, U.K. is actually 7 to 15 days, I believe, from Source Universe. So 7 to 15, it's very easily going to fit in here, and I'm doing free shipping. Um, but for anybody who wants to order international, because the supplier does ship worldwide, but it does ship um, 10 to 20 days worldwide, you will still be able to fall in here. And what I'm doing, and, and it's still free shipping. So what I'm doing is charging $5 additional per order when someone orders international from my UK account. You can do this on your US or your Canada account as well, add international shipping, but you have to create a brand new shipping template right create new shipping template and set it up as for the supplier you are using that does ship internationally right so this is how I have my UK set up for this shipping template for this specific supplier just to show you guys alright so I'm gonna exit out of there so I have Amazon UK open and I have a supplier tab open so I'm just gonna start researching out products this is absolutely from scratch and in this video I'm gonna be doing an original listing from scratch so what you would normally be doing for Amazon FBA um, doing all that in-depth research the only thing I'm not going to do is use tools or software so if you're looking to do it on a budget you don't want to do FBA you don't want to pay for tools you're just paying for your Amazon account I, I still find the best keywords my favorite place to find keywords is Amazon predictive search right Amazon predictive search is my favorite place to find keywords so technically you don't even need to use helium 10 or any of these other softwares like merchant words that you can get keywords from which they are good and they're useful in their own ways and a lot of people use helium 10 and swear they wouldn't use anything else but I love predictive search because it's Amazon itself giving you the data it doesn't tell you how high the search volume is but what I do know is when you look in the predictive search let's just say I'm gonna look up dog toy just type in the first word or first two words of what you're searching for and Amazon based on internal algorithmic search data which Amazon has they will lay out in front of you what they think you're going to type in next based on what people search for most right what people search for most after typing in the word dog toy the top five are right here dog toy box then basket then storage then bundle then rope right and after the first four or five it starts to get a little bit more like these are still being searched for as Amazon saying they are but these top three four or five are gonna be your best to go with based off of the product now the next thing you can do is after you search out a predictive search keyword take a look at how much search volume there is right so less than 500 on Amazon US I know less than 500 results or less than a thousand is really good it's much easier to compete with you might not even have to run PPC this is the crazy thing I don't run PPC on like 20% of my products. So 20% of the products I list, I get to sell without running Amazon PPC. And if that sounds crazy, you're going to see exactly how, how I do it right here today in this video. So let's just take a look at a random keyword. So let's go dog toy basket. Keep in mind I'm on UK. Okay, so under 2,000 but above 1,000. Right, I want less competition than that. So then I would just then I would just come right up to this keyword and I would click space. And it's going to give you the next top five based off of when people type in dog toy basket. So you're going to be able to find a longer tail keyword and a more narrowed down result. Um, gray, wo okay, wooden, that sounds pretty good. Let's go wooden. And I guarantee there's going to be less results. 240. So a dog toy basket, a wood dog toy basket. I mean, that probably has a pretty decent search volume every month. Now, next thing you can do if you want to use the tools is you could take this keyword to a, a software like Merchant Words, which is much cheaper than Helium 10. It's like 30 bucks instead of $30 US a month instead of $100. 
um, and you can just take this keyword over to Merchant Words, and they will tell you approximately, based on their data, how many times a month this keyword gets searched for. So if you want to go and search and make sure it has at least 5,000 searches or at least 3,000 monthly searches, which is you know 100 a day um, or 10 a day, you know, that's a, a 3,000 monthly searches is 100 searches a day. And if you only have 200 or something people to compete with, and if you go take a look at the titles on Amazon, who is using this keyword in their title? Like this direct keyword, dog toy basket wouldn't. Just take a look. I bet you nobody is. I bet you know what it is. Want to know why? Because a lot of Amazon sellers don't know what they're doing. They will just post a product on Amazon, and they will start shelling out money for Amazon PPC. Like look at this right here. Jute storage basket bin chest organizer perfect for organizing storage baby toys kids toys dog toys baby. They're just spamming the title with every keyword possible almost like what you would do on eBay Right now the only reason they probably got this ranked might be because a few factors the titles good Maybe they do got some good keywords mixed in there Maybe they have some keywords in their keyword field right when you do a listing you can go over to the keywords tab add keywords there Right um, and they might have shelled out a ton for PPC Right, so there might be competitive price wise the product might be good quality but how are they gonna get they could have done way better and they could have probably spent a lot less on PPC maybe even none if they were to do this method instead right so I don't see anybody using this direct keyword right in their title so what's that mean for us if this is a keyword that gets searched for every single month on Amazon UK right and no one's using it as a main keyword maybe some people have it in their keyword slot but no one's using it in their title um, and you can even go in and look at some of the like top couple sellers descriptions um, I bet you we will be able to get on the first or second page only 240 results no one's using this direct keyword right in the very beginning of their title best place to place your major keyword the main keyword you're gonna use right in the very beginning of your title right right in the very beginning of your title is the best place to place your keyword um, no one's doing that so because no one's doing that and, and if we do it when people search this keyword Amazon once they crawl once their algorithm and their crawling software crawls your listing once you've created it They will see okay. This is a dog toy basket and it's wood and they're trying to target the keyword dog toy basket wooden so when people search this Amazon even without sales even without a review you can still get on the first page now It's a, a becoming a little bit more difficult on Amazon US because of how high the competition is This is why Amazon Canada and UK and Germany is and a few other the Amazon platforms are really good to go for because all you got to do is get a predictive keyword searched for free. See under 500 or even under 300 results, which is free to find yourself, right? Just like this. And get yourself on the first or second, sometimes third page of Amazon without Amazon PPC. And like I said, about 20% of my products sell without PPC. The remainder of them, some ends up being duds, right? Sometimes, this is why Amazon FBA is so risky because no matter how much research you do, how much money you spend on PPC your product could always end up falling off and you also could have a really hard time getting your product to sell right you don't you don't know what every single Amazon customer in the world wants so it's really really hard to, to differentiate rather your products gonna sell or not no matter how good you are at keyword research right so even though we could list a product today and let's say we could find ex a product to match this exactly and this keyword gets searched for a bunch and there's almost no competition but you know images or whatever it is the deciding factor in a customer buying your product it just let's just say it just happens that you can't get the product to sell this is why drop shipping which has zero upfront cost right if I list this product I'm already paying for my Amazon account right I'm already paying for it so it's costing me zero dollars to list this product on Amazon the only time I get charged is when it sells right then I have to go place my order um, so this is the best way to even if you want to do FBA the best way to get into it is to start by drop shipping all right, so I'm going to get right into it now. Now that I've gone over what predictive search is, how to compete on the platforms, and how to do this without using software, and hopefully without PPC like one in five times, around 20% of the time, let's get to researching an actual product. So I'm at sourceuniverse.com. They are a drop shipper who does blind drop shipping. They ship worldwide. They don't include invoices or packaging or brand names on any of their products. Um, and I'm pretty sure they're going to start offering private labels soon. If not, they already are. Um, private label drop shipping. So I'm just going to take a look. Okay, cool. Nail uh, nail care set. Um, toenail care set. $12. So $12 US. So this is where my uneducated comes in. 12 bucks US is 
9965 um, in pounds. So if I'm going to search this product, this nail, a foot nail care set, there it is right there in the predictive search. And let's just take a look at the competition. Okay, over a thousand. So not amazing. But the next thing I want to look at is if we're going to pay, what was it, 950 and our supplier's free shipping, expedited shipping from them is seven bucks. So if we're paying 950 free shipping and Amazon fees are going to be 15%, Let's say we sell it for around 15 bucks. So our fees are going to be about $2, $2.20. So we would add that onto here, right? 960 plus 220 is going to be uh, 11, around 11.80. So if our total costs are approximately 11.50 to 12 bucks, uh, 11.50 to 12 pounds, that's going to be our total cost, even if we sell it for 15 bucks, 11.50 to 12, then we need to sell it for at least, to make at least 10%, I want to go at least 13.50, right? So I'm just going to take a look at competition to see how high the competition is and what are the price ranges for products similar and or almost identical to the one we're trying to sell. So if I look at this, oh, and that also doesn't include, Source Universe gives you 10% off for free when you sign up as a reseller. I think it's just at the bottom of their website. Um, should be here. Resellers. So you can click here and sign up as a reseller for free, and it's 10% off. When you sign up as an exclusive reseller for 10 bucks a month, they give you 20% off site-wide for life. So let's just say we're getting the free 10% off, right? So instead of paying 1150 pounds, right, we did our calculation, that plus our fees, which we calculated a minute ago, would put us to 1150 to 12 pounds. If we take 10% off, we're going to be paying, like, let's say, 1070 to 11 pounds. Right, so let's just say we're paying now 11 pounds. So we only have to sell it for, you know, 13.2 13 pounds. So like 13, uh, 13 pounds and 20 cents. That means we're making 20%. That's a 20% markup, roughly. Right? And I see a lot of guys over here for like 16, 20. This is a much bigger set, and it's 10 bucks. So this gives you an idea of how Amazon will rank your product, right? If you're coming in at a really high price for less of a perceived value. So like these, okay, $15. So I'm seeing some really nice sets for around the price and some even cheaper than what I'd want to sell our nail care uh, nail care set for. So I'm not really sure this would be a good product because even, see this one even six bucks or six pounds. So it might not be the greatest product to list, right? I think the price is a little high. So then I would just continue until I find one that I can absolutely crush it with. Um, I've, uh, pedicure, I don't know what that is, okay. It's like a battery operated pedicure tool and then we have a eyebrow trimmer. Um, eyelash curler. Okay, so six dollars US. So let's take our 10% off. So $6 US it is becomes $5.20. So we go 5.2 US. That becomes 4 pounds. So somewhere around 4 pounds before Amazon selling fees. Right, for this thing. Now I'm just going to go look over here at eyelash cur curling curler. Hmm. Eyelash curler. eyelash curler kit 200 results there we go but we're paying about four pounds so after fees we're probably going to be around somewhere around five pounds so we need to sell it for at least six and then we can do a 20 percent markup minimum so so far i've only okay so i've seen one of those there's two there's the second one 650 There's one 10 bucks or 10 pounds. 470. And those are electric ones. So those these are ones we won't be competing with because ours is manual, as you can see. And the ones that are electric, we're not competing with them. So you don't have to worry. You don't take their price or them into consideration as competition. I mean, you do because it still essentially does the same thing, but you don't have to worry about um like competing with them price-wise and stuff. So if their prices are a little higher, 
there's nothing wrong with that. What you're looking for is your direct competition, which is these guys. So here's another one, seven pounds. So it looks like they're going anywhere from five to seven pounds. So we probably could list this one for five ninety nine, and there's one right there for five ninety nine. And there's another one for seven ninety nine. And there's one for eleven eighty. Eleven eighty again. Um and it has a really good sales rank too. So let me just take a look, see what this includes. So it includes one of those little rubber bands that go around the grab bar. They have some good images. So we could essentially list this product because after our 10% fees, we're looking at paying for about 4.2 pounds, right? So if we sell it for 5.99, Amazon selling fees are going to be about 90 cents, right? Um, so that would take us to about 5.1 pounds. So if we sell it for 5.99, that's like a 15 to 18 percent markup. Not huge margins, but still doable. And it's a really cheap product. So for me, I wouldn't. I don't really like listing things under 10 or under like 20 dollars or 20 pounds. I don't really like messing with those small products because you do got to place the orders. Or if you have virtual assistants placing orders for you, the cost for them to place your order for something that makes you like 50 cents or a dollar profit, not great. Um, but that is an example of a product I could could have gone right ahead and listed that, right? I could have listed that at 5.99, 5.99 pounds, and been like the second lowest price on Amazon, right? For a keyword that has like no competition, and it's a pretty standard keyword. It's not a super long tail keyword. It just has three, right? Three keywords in this key phrase, right? Only 200 results. Insane that there's only 200 results for such a guaranteed big keyword. Um, and this is what's so amazing about using this method for finding, uh, for listing products on Amazon. So I'm just going to keep going until I can find something better. Um, not 100% sure this category will have a, a lot of items above the $20 range. Looks like they'll have a lot that are a little bit cheaper. Okay, here we go. Um, straightening iron. Let's see. Okay, there's a sink, uh, curling iron for $21 US. 10% off of that takes us to $19 US, right? So $19 US equals 15 pounds. So we have a curling iron. Let's just check how good of quality it is. So it has low, high temp, fits four different plugs, includes gloves. Look at that. So, very cool thing about this is added value, it includes gloves. That is an actual really good selling feature you can use when listing this on Amazon, is that it includes a free set of gloves, right? And it has pictures of the, guy, of the person with the gloves, which is perfect. All right, so, 15 pounds includes gloves, and this is a curling iron. So, hair curling, hair curling iron. Let's see, okay, over a thousand. Maybe I can get rid of that. And remember, our cost is about 15 pounds before fees. And shipping is free. So curling, iron. Not sure if it's for short hair or long hair. Um, not sure that it says. And that's not English. This could be a German product, which they actually make some pretty good quality products. So, okay. Oh, there's two sizes. Doesn't show the two sizes though, as options. So that's not great. So I don't know if this is for short hair or not. So I'm just gonna see what other keywords I can get. Okay, so we have the 25 mil. And there's a 25 millimeter one here and a 19. So we could always, if we're going to place the order, maybe we contact a supplier and say we want the 25 mil. Um, make sure we order that one every time we place an order. So there we go, curling iron 25 mil. Probably a pretty standard search term. People probably know, women probably know what kind of curling iron they want. They probably know what size they want. So curling iron 25 mil, it's only a three keyword key phrase, 168 results in competition. On, on the entire Amazon UK platform. Insane. 
Now I'm going to take a look at prices. So if we're looking at around 15 pounds before fees, before seller fees, 15 pounds. Okay, so the okay, so 17, 20, 30, 60, 25, 25, 20, 18, 14, 14, 16, 25, 25, 38, 20. So I would say just be look uh, by looking at all these prices, they're priced somewhere between fifteen to thirty dollars. So that would probably put the average price somewhere around twenty two or twenty three dollars, right? The average price. I see a lot of them for twenty five and quite a few for the thirty and then some under the twenty dollar range. Um, but ours includes free gloves, right? So this this includes a free glove twenty one. This includes a free glove thirty bucks or thirty pounds. This includes a free glove thirty pounds free glove 20 pounds okay so I would probably list this product I would go right ahead and list this product for sure and my selling price is gonna be off of if the if the average price of them selling on Amazon right now is somewhere around 22 or 23 dollars that's the average selling price between the 15 to 30 bucks or the 15 to 30 pounds so if I'm looking at around 23 dollars or 23 pounds average price then I obviously want to be lower than that because I'm not in this premium category, right? Like this one for 32 pounds, it has five wands, right? Five additionals. Now this one, nothing special, nothing additional here, just the free glove, right? Just like we have, 25 pounds. Right there it is again. Um, and there's one for 20, 21, 25 pounds with a glove and a couple other little tools. So we would need to be cheaper than this guy because value-wise, we're not providing a value greater than or even equal to because they have the glove plus a couple extra tools, right? So we need to be cheaper than that one, but we don't need to be as cheap as these guys, right? These guys are just being crazy, and some of them are some of them are big brands, right? And that's just what they sell their product for. But as you can see right here, this 25-pound, you know, why would someone spend more on a product when they can get it for 12 pounds? We'll just take a look. 6,700 sales rank, 13,000 sales rank. This one sells more. Why? Because they have added value, right? And some maybe some people like black. Maybe some people like the way it looks. Maybe some people n know this brand. Maybe some, you know what I mean? There's so many different factors that go into someone buying something that you can't just look at price alone. If you just look at price alone, then this would blow your mind and would make no sense to you, right? Why is this one that costs more sell better, right? Sitting there, scratch your head. You don't have to worry about that. This is the method you need to use. Do your research, find a really good keyword. Use Amazon Predictive Search. It's crazy powerful and it's free. Um, find the median price and go a little bit lower than that. Take a look at your competition, who's doing what. So these guys for 25, we gotta be cheaper than them because they have a better setup, right? They give you more than just the, the wand and the glove, right? But we don't need to be as cheap as these guys for 16 because they're just giving you the wand. No glove, no extra tools, no nothing. And we can clearly see that these things are selling for 25, even 30, 30 pounds, right? So I would go ahead maybe $21.99. Um, actually, I've seen quite a few for $20.99. But I would maybe go like $20.75 or $20.50 or even $21.99 to start. If you can't get it to sell in the first two or three weeks, then you have that wiggle room to go down to $20.50 or even $19.99 or even $19.50. So if we're, if we're 15 pounds before seller fees, and then we add our seller fees, which is for this category in UK, I believe it's 15%. Um, you can correct me in the, if I'm wrong down in the comments. For beauty category, for Amazon UK, I think it's 15%. I could be wrong. I haven't been selling on UK very long. So if it's 15%, we sell it for 20. That's going to be 3 pounds. So 15 pounds plus 3 pounds is 18 pounds. That's going to be our total cost all in. So if we go for... $21.99, that's around a 20% margin, 20% markup at $21.99. Even if we have to drop our price down to $19.99, we're still above 10%, right? 18 pounds to 20 is about a is about an 11% pr uh, margin. So I'm going to go $21.99 and I'm going to list this product. And they have quite a few good images. And the image I would probably use would be maybe that one not the one with the, the hand and the glove I mean if it was just a little glove beside it I would maybe do it but because it's got the guy's arm in there I don't really really like the way that guy's arm looks no offense to this guy but 
I'm not going to include that as my main image. So my main image would probably be, um, I would use this as one too, and I would just take away this text, and I would take away um, the free to send gloves. I would just grab that image and throw the gloves there. You could always grab your main image and then throw the gloves in, right? I think that would be a good idea. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to zoom in on this a little bit. So I get my Amazon dimensions. So I'm just going to print the screen really quick. I'm going to go into paint and paste it. I'm going to crop. And I'm going to get my dimensions, which is a thousand at least on one side so there we go and then I'll bring that down so now what I'm gonna do is just center this a little bit right put this in the center just like that and I will also throw those little gloves in there so I'm gonna open up a fresh paint tab and zoom back out so those little gloves right there where is it there we are so I'm just gonna grab that I'm just gonna crop that screen or or print screen control print screen I'm gonna grab grab the gloves I'm gonna click copy I'm gonna go back over to this image and I'm gonna paste them over here just like that so now my main image shows that it includes two gloves right and that it's coming for free with the product just like that so that's going to be my main image, and my main image's keyword is going to be curling iron 25 millimeter, right? Curling iron 25 millimeter. So we don't need that, but we need this. So I'm going to save. Curling iron 25 millimeters. Save. Then I'm going to grab another image. Um, maybe the hand with the glove. Just like that. Just bear with me for a few seconds while I grab the images, right? Creating an Amazon listing from scratch takes time, but imagine doing this FBA. You're probably going to wait one to two months before you even get your units from China and being able to even list them on Amazon, right? So we can list within 30 minutes of doing research and listing a product and go. That's pretty insane. So I'm just going to do that keyword that I was using, which was curling iron 25 mil. And then I'm going to add additional keywords. So obviously hair is going to be another massive part keyword that's going to be related to this product so some people like to do different keywords for every image right I like to use um, old SEO tactics which is use the main keyword and just add on additional keywords to your phrase for each additional image I like doing it that way I find that it works really good um, so there's our second image now I'm not sure we're gonna be able to get seven images and I know that's what we need but I'm just gonna for now just grab a few right just so this video doesn't take too long you can also fast forward a little bit if you want to where I'm actually on the Amazon page listing the product because you're not gonna wanna miss me doing the description Okay, there we go that's even now we're gonna do the curling iron 25 millimeter I can put women save okay three images that's for me is good for now um, I should probably grab more, but I'm not gonna just I'm just being lazy. I just want to do this listing for you guys So create a new product and I'm gonna go to my UPCs which I get from speedybarcodes.com if you can't this, this is where I go speedybarcodes.com That is where I buy my UPC codes So this is a curling iron 25 millimeter um, Black I could even put the Amazon is in here later just so I remember the UPC that I used but for now, I'm just going to grab that UPC and go down here to the beauty category. And I'm going to go hair care and styling tools, I guess. Yeah, styling tools. And I believe it's curling. Curling tongs. 
I think that's the closest one I'm going to get. So, see, I don't know too much about beauty products. I used to, I only sell in the furniture, home decor, pets, kids, and toys categories. I'm just recently starting to sell in the beauty category. So, it's going to be a while before I understand all the lingo that women know off by heart. So, product ID is going to be my UPC. I'm going to throw it right there. Now, I'm doing my own brand name from this supplier. They allow you to private label drop ship, but in the first place, they're doing blind drop shipping. So this product's going to come no invoice, no branding on the packaging, no branding on the product. They allow you to resell as you please. That means I'm going to enter my own brand name, right? So for this one, um, now you, what you can do is use your seller name as your brand name, but you need to make sure you check out Trademarkia, Trademarkia.com. You can go to Trademarkia.com to see if your seller name or any brand name you want to use for your Amazon store is trademarked already. If it is, you cannot use it. right? So you have to make sure that you don't use a name that's already trademarked. All right, so for example, I'm just going to use um, a brand name I make up off the top of my head because this is I don't have a brand name developed for the beauty category yet. And I'm going to use something that's completely made up. Hopefully, it's not trademarked, right? But normally, I would go to Trademarkia to make sure that this brand is not trademarked. If you already have a brand, use that brand, right? Um, curling wand. Um, Curling one magic uh, iron. So I don't I'm not I don't know what I'm doing with this brand name here. I'm just trying to go fast for you guys, try to get the process done. I don't have a brand name for this category and I don't want to spend too much time sitting here thinking of one and then checking trademark you, which I should do and I will do in the future, but not for the sake of the video, just because I want to get the ball rolling for you guys. Manufacturer part number. They don't give you SKUs and stuff from Source Universe, so you can because you're doing your own listing from scratch you can just make one up right so I just do that the first two letters of my brand name I would just do that and then some numbers boom done right simple don't take too much time the, t the place you want to take your time is with your title your description your bullet points right um, and images so our main keyword is going to be the first one curling iron 25 millimeter 25 millimeter it also I'm also going to use hair because that's that's a given it's for hair and it is a wand hair wand styling tongs styling tong by and then I would enter the brand name um, the brand name that I'm using right so the brand name here would be curling wand magic iron so that's what I would put if you if you put the brand name at the very end of your product title then uh, Amazon won't automatically put it in the very beginning right because a lot of problems been going on now people doing their Amazon listings and they're not putting a brand name in the title but Amazon does it anyways and I don't really like that they do that but I found that if you put your brand name at the very end of the title they won't put it in the begin beginning of the title and ruin your keywording so that's what I like to do Okay, so now I'm going to go to the offer tab. Now, what we said we were going to list this for, $21.99. Um, I always do four days handling time. So $21.99. And recommended retail, I would go, say, $39.99. And then we'll add our images. And then comes the most important step. After we add our images... Here we go. So I got the image with the gloves in the main image, which I really like that. Then I have the image with the hand and the glove on the iron, and then I have this just final image. Now just to take up seven images, I'm just going to add more of the same images over. 
or at least I got five images in there because anything is better than two or three images. Then I'm going to jump over to my description. So I'm going to open up all five bullet points, and this is where I'm going to drive it home. So this is where you sell your customer. Once a customer lands on your product listing through the Amazon search homepage, they search out you know, maybe this main keyword, this exact keyword right here, curling iron 25 millimeter, they click yours. This is your chance to sell the customer, right? So it's very important that you take time in crafting a really good description and stand out bullet points. So I always start with your brand name, the curling iron wand magic, or whatever the brand name we were using was. Um, and then my keyword, which was my main keyword, which was curling iron 25 millimeter is the perfect is the perfect styling wand or is the perfect wand for is just what you need for perfect curls every time and then I'll do another keyword so this is where you're gonna wanna find more than one keyword and you can literally just come back to um, the Amazon predictive search and find some so I don't see this being wrong if I do for short hair. So let's just see how good of a keyword that is. So 500 results, curling iron for short hair. I mean, you can see the ones that are popping up. So you can see that ours isn't much different. So I would probably use that one too. So I would say our curling iron for short hair and I would put and long hair so you're not actually using the keyword to di to dis to confuse people you want to make sure that they know you can use it for either I could be wrong I don't know if 25 millimeters is good for long and short but I know it's good for short and I'm using my best educated guess as to what else this product does separate from what the description is going to tell me and there actually isn't a description on this product except right here so it has low and high temperatures it includes gloves. Um, what you can do is, is, what I like to do is go to the most expensive competitor. This is my little secret that I like to do is I'll find the most expensive competitor with a very similar product and I will take a look at some of their stuff. I won't copy and paste any of their info. I will just use some of their points because if they have the most expensive product and, they're, and they have a really, really good sales rank, they're obviously doing something right. So that's what I will do is look for a more expensive one um, with a really good sales rank. So that's $23, 5,000 sales rank. Sorry, 23 pounds. Um, 25 pounds, 7,000 sales rank. I might look at this guy. I like this guy's listing. So, pro for long, short hair. Ceramic. Okay, with gloves. So, ceramic coated. This definitely looks like a ceramic coated uh, curling iron. Um, it doesn't have an LCD display. The display is just the on and off and then it has the settings. So you can go from 120, 120 Celsius all the way up to 240. So it has adjust, it's adjustable. Um, it has indicator lights. It's black. It has a ceramic coating, right? So we're just using information like that. It's our curling iron for short and long hair. It has a premium ceramic coating and adjustable heat and adjustable heat going out for a night on the town or going out for the night with your friends get the perfect curls with our with your new with your new and what was the keyword okay we're gonna grab another keyword now curling iron um, curling iron with there we go curling iron with glove look at that curling iron with glove curling iron with gloves and then I do the guarantee if you are not completely satisfied, satisfied with our main keyword, curling iron 25 mil wand, um, simply send it back, back under our 
under our money back, our no hassle money back guarantee. Just like that. Now I'm going to do the bullet points. So the bullet points, I usually like to just start my first bullet point with my main keyword and usually the first sentence from my description. This helps, it might seem lazy, but it actually helps with SEO because if your first line in your description is like one of your main selling points, you're probably going to want that as your main bullet point as well. Um, so, curls for days. Curling iron 25 mil is just what you need for perfect curls every time. Um, quality. And here I would do the ceramic coating. So high grade ceramic coating keeps your hair from getting over dried. keeps your hair from getting over dried or burnt then I would do so curls for days quality and obviously every time you do a point you need to actually kind of elaborate on what you're talking about right so quality then I talk about the ceramic coating right so now I'm going to do another point um, and we can always take a look at what this guy's doing smart heat technology why did that just happen <laughs> I don't know um, and why is that happening? I just clicked this guy. Why are you doing this to me, Amazon? Don't. Okay. Safe operation. Okay, cool. Glove. And in our guarantee, we do as well at the bottom. So. Simple to use. Simply turn the dial. Simply turn the dial to choose your preferred heat level and adjust as you need safe and easy then I'm going to do um, so it's really good to get ideas from these guys with higher prices um, that are doing really well so oh yeah it includes gloves so what you get or you could say something like bonus or includes right what you get 25 millimeter black curling wand um, curling wand and then set of heat proof gloves instructions and here I would do color black right and then the very last one is going to be 100% guaranteed or our guarantee or money back guarantee or just the word guaranteed. Right? So I would do if you're not 100% satisfied with with our main keyword curling iron 25 millimeter, simply send it back under our money back guarantee. No questions asked. Right? So look at that. We have our title now I would like to make the title a little bit longer um, and now that we've been through the description and bullet points we now have some more keywords right we definitely have some more keywords so I will go to our description and take a look at some of the keywords we're using so we used curling iron for short hair we used um, what else did we use right here curling iron with glove so I'm gonna go back to our description back to our title styling tong and then I'm going to put um, so we had sorry I'm, I'm drawing a blank what do we have for our keywords there so we had curling iron with glove and then we also had curling iron for short hair and for long hair um, okay so for short or long hair with with gloves by brand name so there we go so we have our really solid title we have our images preferably seven or more and then we have a really solid description and we have our really really standout product features we have our price and that is it
So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. That is literally the entire research process and listing process. And this is specifically for Amazon UK. So this was a case study for you guys. Now, if you're used to selling on US or Canada, if you're like me, I, I've been selling on US for six years and Canada for two. I just recently starting on started on UK this year just because I know it's a massively untapped market. You can do really, really well there. So this is what you need for researching. And it's also a supplier included in this video. So everything you guys need, any questions, drop them below. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next week.